Welcome to the Basic Media RTD tutorial. This video explains using the multiple fields option for Media RTD and demonstrates how to utilize the feature to automate a complex workflow. The multiple fields tool allows for linking of one or more data fields, text fields, and file directories or subfolders within the Media RTD folder. The first use case is for utilizing two graphics that would be used to identify a data indicator that applies to both teams, such as the possession arrow in football or basketball and the current batter indicator in a baseball lineup. For instance, a possession arrow that points to the left for the home team and to the right for the away team. In this example, the Media RTD possession indicator must be named pos.png, and because they are named the same but there are two separate files, they are not able to share the same folder. Instead, create two subfolders inside the Media RTD folder and name them Home Pass and Guest Pass. Then drop the appropriate file indicator in each folder. In Content Studio, use the Guest Possession Text and Home Possession Text fields. With the Guest Possession Text field selected, select Is Media RTD and browse to the location of the arrow in the Guest Pass subfolder. Choose the Multiple Fields option and click Add Directory. Insert the name of the subfolder for guest pass before the slash in the text field. Drag the text field so that it comes first in the list. Repeat this process to assign the home possession text field to the home pass subfolder. Alternatively, instead of using subfolders, the same use of two unique files for possession may be achieved by keeping them in the same folder and naming them in a way that denotes their difference. In this example, we've named the files guest space pass.png and home space pos.png. Rather than choosing add directory in the multiple fields option, choose add text. In the text box, enter guest space, drag the text field so that it comes first in the list, and repeat this process for the home possession field. In some cases, users may wish to combine more than one field into a single item in their content studio presentation. This can help to simplify formatting and alignment. In this example, we will create a matchup graphic containing both the home and guest team names. Because team names vary in length, it's ideal to combine them to keep them centered around the versus text. Add the first field, then choose multiple fields. Here we will add text and enter space vs space. Next, choose add field and select guest team name from the drop down list. Close the multiple fields box and choose the center alignment option to always have the team centered within the bounding box. Media RTD can also be helpful in simplifying a complex workflow. A venue that has numerous displays that show many instances of a similar GIF graphic can benefit from this. In this situation, each display size should have its own Content Studio VMPF graphic built. For a GIF scoreboard, it's common to show the home and guest team name and or logo. Media RTD can be used to easily update all the GIP logos by linking them to fields such as guest team abbreviation in the AllSport. From game to game, the GIP graphic can pull the guest logo and even team color scheme on the graphic without the need for the operator to update each individual VMPF. This concludes the basic Media RTD tutorial. Continue to the advanced Media RTD tutorial for further learning.